This is the Cambridge Preliminary English Test. Test four. There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. For each part of the test, there will be time for you to look through the questions, and time for you to check your answers. Write your answers on the question paper. You will have six minutes at the end of the test to copy your answers onto the answer sheet. The recording will now be stopped. Please ask any questions now, because you must not speak during the test. Now open your question paper and look at part one. There are seven questions in this part. For each question, there are three pictures and a short recording. Choose the correct picture and put a tick in the box below it. Before we start, here is an example. How did the woman get to work? Oh, I'm so sorry I'm late. I missed the bus. I was trying to decide whether to walk or go back and get my bike when I saw my neighbour. Luckily, he offered me a lift because he works near here. The first picture is correct, so there is a tick in box A. Look at the three pictures for question one now. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. One. What did the thieves steal? What exactly is missing, sir? I thought the thieves had taken the television set because it wasn't in its usual place in the dining room. Then I went to check my CD player and CDs.、Uh, I keep them on an antique chest of drawers. All the CDs were on the floor with the CD player, but the chest had completely disappeared. It wasn't in the garden either, which is where I found the television. Right, sir. Well, can you give me a detailed description of it? Now listen again. What exactly is missing, sir? I thought the thieves had taken the television set because it wasn't in its usual place in the dining room. Then I went to check my CD player and CDs.、Uh, I keep them on an antique chest of drawers. All the CDs were on the floor with the CD player, but the chest had completely disappeared. It wasn't in the garden either, which is where I found the television. Right, sir. Well, can you give me a detailed description of it? Two. What present will they take? We ought to take a present if we're staying for the weekend. Let's get something a bit different. People always take flowers, and it's rather hot for chocolates. What about something for the children, like a DVD, or some unbreakable glasses they can all use outside or on picnics? Good idea. And let's get a jug to go with them. The children have probably got lots of DVDs. Now listen again. We ought to take a present if we're staying for the weekend. Let's get something a bit different. People always take flowers, and it's rather hot for chocolates. What about something for the children, like a DVD, or some unbreakable glasses they can all use outside or on picnics? Good idea. And let's get a jug to go with them. The children have probably got lots of DVDs. Three. What will the woman eat tonight? Hotel York. Hello. I'm staying in your hotel tonight, and I'm arriving quite late, about ten thirty. 
Will there be any food available in the hotel? I'm afraid the restaurant closes at ten o'clock, but the bar does burgers and chips until midnight. And there's always the pizza place opposite, which stays open late. Or we can bring sandwiches to your room if you prefer. Fine. I won't want to eat burgers or pizza at that time of night. Now listen again. Hotel York. Hello. I'm staying in your hotel tonight, and I'm arriving quite late, about ten thirty. Will there be any food available in the hotel? I'm afraid the restaurant closes at ten o'clock, but the bar does burgers and chips until midnight. And there's always the pizza place opposite, which stays open late. Or we can bring sandwiches to your room if you prefer. Fine. I won't want to eat burgers or pizza at that time of night. Four. How much will the girls' ticket cost? I'm travelling from Banbury to Whitney tomorrow, and I need to be there about ten in the morning. Can you tell me when the trains leave and how much a single ticket is? The eight thirty-five train gets in at nine forty. That's twelve pounds sixty-five for a single. The train after that leaves at nine ten. And arrives at ten fifteen. That costs less because you're travelling after nine. The fare is ten pounds forty five. I'll take the second train. Just after ten is fine. Thanks. Now listen again. I'm travelling from Banbury to Whitney tomorrow, and I need to be there about ten in the morning. Can you tell me when the trains leave and how much a single ticket is? The eight thirty-five train gets in at nine forty. That's twelve pounds sixty-five for a single. The train after that leaves at nine ten, and arrives at ten fifteen. That costs less because you're travelling after nine. The fare is ten pounds forty-five. I'll take the second train. Just after ten is fine. Thanks. Five. What is the grandmother's job now? My grandmother always wanted to be a teacher when she was a little girl, but she had to leave school when she was fourteen and help her mother clean offices and shops. When she was in her thirties, she went to college. But she had to work as a waitress in the evenings to pay for her studies. A few years later, she finally got the job she'd always wanted, and she's done it ever since. Now listen again. My grandmother always wanted to be a teacher when she was a little girl, but she had to leave school when she was fourteen and help her mother clean offices and shops. When she was in her thirties, she went to college, but she had to work as a waitress in the evenings to pay for her studies. A few years later, she finally got the job she'd always wanted, and she's done it ever since. Six. Which button has the boy lost? I've lost a button on my favourite shirt. I could see that it was loose when I put it on last night. If it was the one on my pocket, you wouldn't notice. But on the collar, it's different. It's easy to see that it's missing from there. Why don't you take one off your sleeve and use that? Here, you'll need some scissors. Be careful you don't cut the material. Okay. Will you sew it on for me? Do it yourself. It's easy. Now listen again. I've lost a button on my favourite shirt. I could see that it was loose when I put it on last night. If it was the one on my pocket, you wouldn't notice. But on the collar, it's different. It's easy to see that it's missing from there. Why don't you take one off your sleeve and use that? Here, you'll need some scissors. Be careful you don't cut the material. Okay. Will you sew it on for me? 
Do it yourself. It's easy. Seven. What will the man do first? Before we start painting, I'll wash the kitchen floor because it's really dirty. It'll be easier if you sweep it before you do that, Nick. I'll carry on cleaning the windows. OK. And then we can start painting the walls. Now listen again. Before we start painting, I'll wash the kitchen floor because it's really dirty. It'll be easier if you sweep it before you do that, Nick. I'll carry on cleaning the windows. OK. And then we can start painting the walls. That is the end of part one.